What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're on the Free to Play series. Oh man, I've been really scared to do this, like this New Year celebration seems amazing, I just, I don't know why. I don't know, I feel like I've already gotten lucky in other aspects of the game that I'm just not going to get an artifact selection chest in our four pulls. Now it's supposed to be like close to a 50-50 chance from what it sounds like. Oh, I'm scared. So number one, what we're going to do here. Because we're going to go ahead and we're going to purchase all of these guys here. So we're going to do the 4,000 gems for the swap event. Because we're definitely going to try to get some Eloise copies. Maybe a skin or something. I don't know. Maybe some light and dark copies. we got to see how this works out. Uh, and then on top of that, we might as well come into Imp's Adventure. And we're just going to spend... What do we need? We need 2,000. Oh, jeez. I need, I need a calculator for this. <laughs> 2000 uh divided by 150 i need 13 so we'll buy 15 dice for the time being we'll do that so we get a total of our 12 prayer crystals i was tempted to kind of hype this up but i think we're just going to go in and do our four free pulls here and see if we just get the best luck ever we're still sitting at 11,000 gems which is nice for the uh the gem mall we get like a nine star puppet maybe some other stuff too we'll see but um yeah i think what we're gonna do i mean hopefully we get like hopefully we get one mysterious artifact selection just if we get two that's amazing but i hope we can get the 111 percenter and then i hope we dodge a lot of these other things maybe we get like the five star chest or the puppets the core is well good we're just not going to use them for a while i mean they're going to be good eventually but I think what we're going to do is we're going to claim these top four spots right here. I think I've already decided. Let's go. Okay, we got a light and dark chest. We got a puppet. A puppet. No. <laughs> I knew this was going to happen to us. I absolutely knew this was going to happen and we weren't going to get a mysterious artifact selection chest. That's going to put us back a little bit on the free-to-play compared to others. Um, I mean, it is what it is. It's a 50-50 chance. <sighs> we failed. At least we got Puppet. Sadly, we didn't get the 10-star. I mean, we kind of hit the things I was kind of hoping for, but not really. Um, this hurts. This really hurts. I was hoping we get one, maybe even two with some super god-tier luck. We did not. I should have gone for the corners. I was tempted to go for the corners, but I mean, the nine star puppets are very good because we do have a lot of progress we can make here. We do need to decide what else we want to buy, though. So, as far as food goes, um, I think what we will do is we'll try to save the Berea up for. A 10 star potentially because if we can get a couple more copies of Berea that'll work uh, we also want to look at potentially making the Garuda another 10 star we do need one more copy but I think we have the one copy in the bag right we got one there and one there yeah so we can make her 10 star on top of that uh, we have some puppets and stuff I think we're gonna try to get this Eloise as powered up as possible with the food that we currently have we need three nine stars. We are going to, of course, have the two from here. I think we're going to go to the gem mall. Uh, one thing is I think we might get a six star puppet here because I don't think we can make the six star we need right now. Yeah, we just we don't simply we simply don't have what we need. One thing we can do first, though, just to make sure we unlock all of these, we can go ahead and finish our shelter mission for the week as well which will be pretty sweet we literally ended up saving every single four star we needed with the summoning event so that was really really awesome we can go ahead unlock 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 and now do we have something we can trade off yes okay i think we're good to go for the shelter mission on top of that we get the saya i don't really care but we're doing it more for the gear and the gems give me, and really the dice not the gems <laughs> The dice, not gems. Um, yep, we have a perfect hero copy to do there. 
looks good. We can do the floor because we just barely got all those wind walkers in time. Throw a gray eyed at it. That is good. And lastly, getting that wall deck. We are going to keep that wall deck copy because we do plan on building him eventually. All right. So that's pretty solid of a setup. Again, like I said, let me lock down that wall deck. Oh, no, never mind. We get it in shard form. That's perfect. Okay. So math time. Do we buy another nine star puppet? I think we do. I think what we're going to do use a lot of other gems for is let's first... I mean, we can come back to the dice. I think right now, what I really want to do is I want to buy, of course, another nine star puppet right here. I think. I think we're going to do this. And I think I'm going to get a six star shadow puppet. That's literally going to deplete our gems for the time being. Granted, we're going to get a ton more from the stuff we're about to do as well. Let's summon out all these puppets here. Make sure we got everything we need. Um, honestly, we can summon you out and get that out on top of that. And we can do some things. So, number one is we have one Eloise copy here. So, that puts us at a total of what? Three, four copies. We need five more Eloise copies. Well, we do have chests now. So, this is going to be bring it down to four more copies needed right i think so we're going to go to the swap event for five star heroes we're just going to start chucking in any old stuff um probably forest heroes we'll just use they're like valkyrie in and we're going to swap this over to an eloise for one swap we're going to swap over a molassa to another eloise for two swaps and let's just check where we are progress wise here. Let's just make sure we're not going overboard. Uh, we got another Eloise here. Okay, so that is a total of three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we still need two more copies. So not too bad. Go back to five star heroes here. I think we'll just keep feeding off. Well, we got to make sure we don't feed off too many fours because I need to make a six star. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, we can do it, but let's make it before we do anything else. We need a six star hero. Let's make it uh, a Zekis. Oh, we only have one Zekis. Um, um, Edgar, I think I saw two Edgars in there, right? Right, let's grab an Edgar. Oh, wait, why am I doing nine star? <laughs> Where's my Edgar? There's my Edgar. All right, we got one copy, two copies, and then we got one, two, three four looks good okay so we got the six star we need to make her a 10 star food which is fine we're gonna have a lot of progress here we're just gonna make sure we don't do stupid berry gaming things one two three four so we just need two more copies so let's do those last two swaps right now i guess we could probably use like the flame strike here another eloise there we go and one more who should we do abyss yeah maybe we could do abyss here we could do uh forest yeah let's just use forest last of the forest and one more eloise all right there we go so we're up to the total of the right number of copies now we should be good to go to start doing this we got the puppet we have one of those nine stars which is perfect we have another nine star right here, which is perfect. <laughs> We're gonna be able to really power level her up here. We actually almost can get her to E4 today, which is kind of insane. So there's that. Uh, yeah, I don't think we have a chance to get any Bereas today, really. If we did, that would be awesome, but we're gonna have to wait to get more Bereas or of course, to get more like Emily's or Bleakers or something along those lines to make another 10 star. I think we are going to go ahead and finally get rid of this Garuda. Which means in order to do that, we got to remove her from like everything. Everything the Garuda has to be removed. <laughs> which feels bad, but she served her purpose. She did a really good job on our account. I need to do that. And probably Star Arena as well. Man, there's so many lineups you have to take care of now. All right. So the Garuda, we can now turn into a 10 star. I locked one of those copies. Here we go. Here we go. We got 10 star Garuda that we're going to feed off. 
We'll eventually maybe kind of build another one. Oh, wait, we're short a nine star puppet? Hmm, never mind. I thought we were closer than we thought. Hmm, okay, let's see what we've accumulated here throughout all of these things. Uh, we should have more puppets, which is cool for making more food. We now have the best LOE sparkly version. We now have more gems, which is cool. <sighs> let's see, let's see. Um, Yeah, I mean, the only thing kind of holding us back right here is just lack of nine stars. We could feed off the Berea. Which, you know, might not be the worst thing right now. Because getting two more Berea might be difficult. We would then focus on forest or fortress to build another 10 star and a nine star in another faction, which is a little ways off. If we can maybe just maybe get more gems this week and get up to 9,000, it's a stretch, but there is a chance we could do that. That could be good. And of course we're going to get more tickets. So we might be able to do actually, can we do a limited skin swap right now into Eloise? Is that, is that something? No, darn it. Darn it. I was like, maybe we can swap for Eloise. I don't know. That would be really cool. Uh, no pay to win artifact, though. It feels so bad. That would have been so clutch. But luckily, Eloise doesn't really need the pay to win artifact. So we're not that far behind. I kind of want to make her E3 today, guys. I kind of want to make her E3. Is it optimal? For progress, I would say yes. This is a tough decision. And I know you guys are like, Barry, just do it. Just do it, Barry. I mean, Berea, is, he's not the easiest copies to come by. And it would take a little while to find them. Plus, we don't have a nine star right now. I think what the goal is, is we will just turn this one in here to make them E3. Then we need to come up with two more 10 stars heroes. Um, we could make like a queen down the road because that's pretty easy to do. And one of the two fortress heroes. We, of course, have profit orbs next week that I think we're going to participate in. I don't think we're going to save up just yet. I, I usually say don't save for events until you hit that... Um, hit that first E5 hero. You want to get the E5 as fast as possible. And if that is the theory, all right, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. I've convinced myself we need to do it. Is it smart? I do not know, but we are going to try. Uh, yeah, let's just get it done. Let's just get it done. We need to take them out of Star Arena too, maybe. Nope, not Star Arena. Okay, so this is another 10 star. But the other great part about this is that's another 1,000 gems towards another nine star puppet because of course you need two 10 star creations we are then going to come over here and we are going to feed this garuda off to our eloise to make her e3 not too shabby um yeah let's now what does this want to upgrade to oh not nail let's now see if we have the resources to do this oh we don't we need more spirit for sure but there are some there are some purchases we can do. There's a thousand more gems, which is cool. Uh, there's some orange artifact shards. Maybe we get something really, really nice there. And of course, we now get two puppets here and an Ignis copy. So all those things really, really good for our account. So Spirit. We need to check out Spirit. Let me see what this ends up being. Uh, Echo of Death is all right. I think honestly, we're gonna keep her wearing the mirror chain for the time being, just because I think a defensive build is probably better. Now we also have to decide what else we're gonna do. Because we have an E3 hero, she's not fully leveled up. So I wanna get the fully leveling up done as well. Let's check the New Year shop again. Relic small, we're not gonna be able to do anything in unless we wanna do that, but that sounds stupid. Um how much spirit do we need we need 13 levels and it's 5 million per that's a lot <laughs> 5 million per level and it's going to keep increasing so let's just say six on average for 13 so that's like 60 e i mean we could do this right here so that's 150 that puts us down to 50 million gold to make purchases here we're gonna ignore all that stuff. Um, that's 50 million to spend across these. 
we wanted to buy all three of these out that's what 200 million plus 300 500 million good lord where are we going to come up with 500 million gold well one spot is we should be able to breeze through where is it this this is going to give us i imagine next time aspen dungeons open we're going to be able to really really make some crazy progress levels are important though here's what we're going to do we're going to do a small purchase we're going to do this one here use some of our gold but not all of it get a few more levels going get it up to 281 we'll then slow play it from here i think probably the smart play we're going to keep her stone and gear as is as well and then i think what i want to do here man that's expensive actually i don't know if it's really worth it going for the guild coins just yet we'll see maybe maybe the monster materials would be good too but it's like god the free to play this is a struggle we're already getting our monster pretty well leveled up here what we should probably do next before we do anything else is get you set up for some damage <laughs> well, let's just give you this um we upgrade it we do have a lot of resources we can always feed it off later yeah, let's do a quick upgrade on this guy for her PvE damage, since you're going to want to try to do as much damage as possible. So let's feed all of these guys off. Let's get these leveled up. We really don't need to worry about this because we didn't hit a pay to an artifact, which means we don't really have a need to save this stuff for Ormus event, sadly. Makes me a little sad, but hey, it, it's fine. It's fine. Let's do this. And the last one will feed off both of these, that, and the rest of the dust and there we go so we'll give her that for the time being her block is still good let's jump into our monthly events broken spaces let's get a battle going this should be a lot 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 better than it was previously although you know what else we should do we should probably grab our first drake copy out drake will help us out in these situations so we have our first ever dark hero as well He's going to be our main focus on this one to get him fully leveled up. We can get him to 100, give him some gear. Honestly, give him that damage reduction we just took off. Uh, yeah, that works good there. And yeah, let's use him for our PvE damage now. We can't use him in our... Oh, wait, hold on. We get 700 more gems here. No gems here. Oh, we're almost done with that, though. Fusion, we're pretty much good. Uh, I think we might be able to finish out the monthlies. We'll have to see. Brave Trial, nothing really else. Okay, yeah. Let's just get into this. Drop you guys out. Throw a Drake in. And those two, I think that's our squad. Could run Aos. Actually, an Aos might be good. It would give us a burn. But the Phoenix doesn't really matter just yet. Let's go in with this team and see what our damage looks like now with an E3 Eloise. She is going to be strong. We're going to be able to make a lot of progress in Tower and Sealand, most likely, as well. Having an E3 on week two of, a, of an account. Well, I guess it's the beginning of week three, but still. If we can beat a couple more of these levels, that would be perfect. It does look like we're going to have to do like a big smash to get some progress. But we really need the resources, and I think it is a smart move here. The Ticks is helping by lowering their attack, which is really honestly amazing, keeping our team alive. So yeah, we'll be able to do some decent damage. 205 million, I'll take it. That's pretty solid. That's going to take off, what, 10%? So yeah, we can smash this right here. Honestly, the Drake probably made a huge difference. Give me those resources. Uh, honestly, let's just smash the Margaret Wave. I don't think it's going to be any more difficult. Yeah, we can clear that. Now, the Gru Wave, we're not going to attempt. The Gru Wave seems a little bit too strong. That's going to give us a ton of resources here. Maybe enough to finish this. Close. Nope, not really. We're still four more levels off, but that's pretty solid. It gave us some gold that we're going to desperately need for this event. Um, if we really come in here and take a look at our guild tech for Ranger. Like, Precision's okay. We don't really need it. Same with the skill damage. And speed really is just this node we need to prioritize. So we'll see what is going to be the most beneficial for us there. Aspen Dungeon should be really fun coming up here. 
And the big one is going to be this. So we're currently on five. Uh, I think this is going to go pretty smooth. <laughs> I think we might get up into the 12, 13 range at this point. Granted, our pet is very weak, so we have to remember that does make a difference. I need to change the artifact back on her as well. I forgot to put the damage reduction back on her. Place that with that bad boy. There we go. And of course, we have the ticks with energy as well, which is nice because he's going to lower the attack of the enemies in the first round. Meaning Eloise is going to have an easier time surviving. She's still just missing a little bit of block, which is a killer right now. Man, if we had resonance gear on her, that would be amazing. But we just have so many things to spend gems on and such. For progress, I don't think we're really going to get much further. This event was great. I mean, honestly... Granted, we didn't get a Mysterious Artifact Selection Chest, but we got two 9-star puppets. The only thing that could have been better was getting the one 10-star puppet because that would have been even more progress. If we would have got that 10-star, we'd probably be in the same spot, but we would still have the Garuda sitting there waiting or the Berea, one of the two. Actually, no, we probably would use the Berea as 9-star food since we only would have had two other puppets. Either way, this is pretty crazy. This is awesome. Uh, and yeah, this is why you see Eloise is such a strong hero in the early game. She just makes Seal Land so ridiculously easy. Her healing is nuts, even though she takes a ton of damage. And I even have the wrong imprint on her. Or Purify. Yeah, I have the wrong Purify on her. I just realized that. Uh, for this one, we need to swap her over to Dot Purify to get through Shadow Sea Land. We should be able to get one or two more levels. It might take a little RNG. The times that she doesn't block feels really bad, but that's partly because I think the Shadow Heroes have Precision. Oh, that was a big hit. Maybe we're just too weak right now to clear this one out. We might need to get her a little bit stronger to keep pushing. Honestly, it's mainly the monster's fault because we don't even have like two of the runes maxed out yet. Oh yeah, those are big hits, especially when we do not actually block. That is brutal. I wonder if we should put it in the back row maybe. No, 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 okay. We're, we're blocking, so we're healing, which is good. We need to keep healing. It's just too much damage right now. We'll try a couple more smashes, maybe. Nah, that's it for right now. So we got one more smash. Pretty good. We can turn all these into elite hero shards, which is nice. And that brings us up to a total of 68. Fingers crossed. RNG. Scary. <laughs> oh, man. If I saw that on my first account ever, I would have been super happy. Let's just lock these down to make sure nothing happens to our last two Eloise copies. Yeah, I mean, I think we are in a really good spot now on this account. We have a Drake for PvE because we got that light and dark five-star hero chest. We have a E5 Eloise that's in the progress of leveling up. I'll probably just smash tower of oblivion myself when i get time that will give us more resources gives us gold and such so i'll have to keep track of how much that smash is going to make for a difference uh wishing fountain we're waiting to get something else on the wheel yeah i think i think we're pretty good i don't think we can smash our way through the grew way but then again eloise is the least affected by grew we'll see maybe christmas event over new year event is here <sighs> No pay to win, but still very good event. If we can get up to 9,000 gems again, I think I might buy another 9-star puppet instead of Resonance Gear. Mainly because we don't have the gold for Resonance Gear. It's going to cost us, like, what? 5 million plus something else. It's like a class suit costs you 100. Oh, actually, no. It's only 300 million. But gems-wise, it's like 9, right? Yeah, 9,000 gems. So 9,000 gems for Resident Suit of Gear, or 9,000 gems and 300 million gold for New Year's event. I don't know. We're going to keep going. Uh, if we can get more, more gemages by the end of this month, it's going to be amazing. I think we'll be able to get, or not month, by the end, well, months over today by the end of this week i think we'll get back up to nine million or nine thousand nine million all right it's time to go because i'm starting to blubber mouth all over the place hopefully you guys enjoy this one i mean this is my pride and joy right here e3 eloise hopefully you guys enjoy this one i'll see you guys next time